Hey everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips, and in this video we will be going over how to make Kodi automatically log in on Linux. So why would you want to do this? Well, if you're building a media center, it can be very tempting to set up just the Kodi login, automatic login with Ubuntu, and when you do that, it can automatically log into the session and you're good. But the problem is, if you want to do other things on your desktop PC media center, say you have a remote control that you can use to browse on your TV, well, you'd have to log out and deal with all of that and then log into another session with an actual web browser to do anything. Whereas if you do it this way, you get the best of both worlds. And the way, the way this works, excuse me here, the way this works is to just open up the startup menu. And in the tutorial, in the description, I talk about you really should do this in XFCE because it's light and it'll run both at the same time very well, but it also has a nice UI setup. So just look through the start menu up here and uh, look for sessions and startup, go to application auto start, click the add button, type in Kodi, Kodi auto start thing, and then just write Kodi. Click the okay button, close it, and then go over here and reboot it. And now we're rebooting our machine here. And uh, once it comes back online, you'll see that it will automatically launch the Kodi app. And then if we close it, we will be able to just use the desktop as normal. So here we go. Starting back up and we can just log into our normal session, like I said. As soon as I log in, it will launch the Kodi application seconds later. And that gives us, like I said, we can access our media. And, you know, maybe we want to play some, some media. I don't have any on here, but say we wanted to play it, we can do that. Or if we, we don't want to use Kodi anymore, we're not stuck in dealing with all this weird crap. We just click the exit button. And now we have a full desktop with a web browser on our television or wherever you're running this to browse the web. And then if we want to go back to media on our TV, we can just launch Kodi again. And that's how it works. It's that simple. This is the best way to go if you're not doing something on a Raspberry Pi. If you're building a straight up Linux powered PC that runs Kodi, bar none, this is the best way to go. Anyways, guys, I will see you in the next video.